right, so for this project, we're just gonna start off with about the 15 inch piece of nine gauge wire. Get this stuff at Tractor Supply and get it from trapping supply houses. It's the same gauge wire used for snare stands and things like that. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight when we start out necessarily. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bend it pretty close to in half. I can figure out about where that's at. Don't worry if you get it perfect or not because we're going to make it malleable by heating it up anyway. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm heating that wire up and you could do that with a torch. You could do that for the forge, it doesn't really matter. I've got a piece of half inch, just a piece of scrap rebar that I've locked in a vise and I'm gonna use that as a jig basically in the beginning portion of this to work this fork that we're gonna make. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna kinda of get this thing bent so that it's centered. And that's pretty easy to do once you heat it up and just get our ends evened up a little bit, just like that. And again, if they're not absolutely perfect the first time, that doesn't matter either. Get that thing pulled down as tight as you can get it around that piece of rebar. You may have to heat it up more than once to get that done, especially if it's cold outside. Okay, once we've got that done, we wanna heat up the length of this, bring it back over here and begin to twist it. Okay, now any flat jawed pair of pliers will work for this. You just wanna grab that dude and start turning it down. Just like that. And as it starts to cool, it's gonna get harder to turn. So you're gonna to wanna to heat this area up so it's easier to twist. Right now I'm just straightening everything out. I'm not trying to do any damage to the metal or bend anything or deform anything. I'm just trying to get it straight. Once I get it straight, then I'll work on the next step. Okay, pretty straight now. We got our tines out there where we want them. Now it's time for us to start working on this. So we're gonna heat all of this up. The reason it's important to have these twists tight because we're getting ready to flatten them. When we do that, we're gonna want it tight or they're gonna separate. Now we'll heat the other end up, flatten it out.
Okay, that's pretty straight. That looks like you got one little hook in it right there. There we go. Now we'll work on our tines for a minute. slight upper curve on those tines. We're going to do some decorating here and then we're going to come back and manipulate this fork a little bit more before we quench things. Now I've just got a piece of rebar here that's been made into a punch and I've really put a fairly fine square point on it. And we're just going to lay this dude down here. Get a glove on. So now we're just heating it up one final time, make sure everything's shaped the way we want it, bent the way we want it, and we're going to quench it in oil. All right, guys, well, there we go. We got her done. How well you can see that thing, but let you see the curve of it. Nice and sturdy. You're not going to hurt that thing any poking meat with it for sure. Even that nine gauge wire, it's pretty sturdy. Once you quench it out, it's nice and sturdy. Goes real good with a nice hand carved spoon to give you a nice little utensil set along with your belt knife. You're ready to eat some good vittles. I appreciate you guys' views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.